problems right from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to explain to you how you can add a call to action button to your SharePoint page. Uh, let me first explain to you what I'm talking about. Essentially, uh, a call to action button is a highly visible button uh, that prompts the uh, users, uh, the site visitors to take action of some sort. All right, so essentially what you see right here, this is actually an example of a call to action button. Uh, you probably have seen those uh, quite uh, a few times, many times probably on uh, uh, on regular websites, uh, but we do have the same capability in SharePoint as well, all right? And maybe you want to prompt the user to take a survey uh, or uh, you know, uh, click on a particular link, a particular document, uh, it's a single action. I mean, you can obviously have multiple calls to actions, uh, you know, uh, buttons on your page, but it's always best to focus users' attention and probably just have one or two at most. So uh, let me show you how to make this happen quite easy. Um, I'm going to edit this page. Uh, let me actually remove this, all right? Uh, so I'll show it to you from scratch. So all you need to do is click the plus sign, right? So we edited the page. You know, we are trying to add a web part. And the web part is called just like that, call to action. Here we go. Here it is. Uh, a few things you can configure here. So uh, first of all, you can configure the text. Uh, all right, kind of what uh, what will happen? I guess you can uh, mention here what will happen once uh, you know people uh, click this button. Uh, all right, or what uh, this button is all about, I guess. So uh, please complete uh, the survey. All right. All right, it's almost possible. Here we go. And then if I click on the little pencil icon, this is where you can type in the label uh, of the survey and uh, in my case, and uh, the URL. All right, uh, it's very, very important. The URL is mandatory, all right? It's kind of uh, defeats the whole purpose, right? You need the button to do something. So uh, we are going to say uh, for the button, you know, start, right? You know, start the survey. And uh, but I have this uh, Microsoft Forms uh, survey that I have uh, in my environment. So when they click on this button, they will uh, pretty much uh, uh, they will pretty much uh, visit the survey page in Microsoft Forms. And um, a few other things you can do here. We can change uh, first of all uh, the uh, alignment, right? Uh, let's center it. And it. Will look nicer. And then background image, all right. Uh, and you can upload your own image, uh, but uh, we now have stock images. Here we go. So let's uh, go with this nice image right here, nice background. Here we go. Perfect. And that's pretty much it. All you need to do now is just hit publish. And now, when your site visitors, you know, visit your SharePoint page, they will essentially see uh, the call to action right away. All right. And of course, in my case, if I click start, you see what happens. It does open uh, it up in the new tab. Uh, very nice, so you kind of don't lose uh, the page at all. Uh, it does open it up on the new page, and in my case, uh, a survey has popped up, which users can now go ahead and complete. All right, so it's a nice visual element, uh, in my opinion, uh, a great addition to any SharePoint page. Uh, it, it's always recommended to have a maximum of, of you know one call to action button, but uh, you know you you might may probably have one or two. Uh, in your case, uh, and that's pretty much all I wanted to share with you. So hopefully uh, you learned something new uh, today. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.